Hello, beautiful. Welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on their current feelings about you. And I will share with you the energies that do come through and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. And let's get straight into your reading. Meditate here on the three cards. Pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful number one. Welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on their current feelings about you. I will share with you the energies that come through and not leave anything out. And please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Also, if you would like a personal reading, please visit my website at claritybay.com. Let's get straight into your reading. I see your energy. You're naturally drawn here to your card, Manifestation. And with the manifestation energy, this is about something coming into play from the energetic field to a, a physical reality. So I can definitely pick up here that your person wants something to happen between you two, some sort of physical connection, a meetup, a gathering, or even some sort of excursion. This person wants something physical to take place. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And how do they currently feel about you? How do they currently feel? And you have here the Seven of Cups. I love the Seven of Cups showing up because you see here they are gathered together. So this is a strong confirmation of the energy here of manifestation. The Cup energy does rule over the water, Zodiac sign, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces are seen in the top placements of your birth chart or their birth chart as a confirmation here in the reading. And those water energies, sensitive, mysterious energies um, could be in the sun, moon, or rising sign, seventh house of relationships, or even the planet Venus. But specifically here with the seven of cups, I can definitely see that this person does have commitment issues. And not only with them having commitment issues, they feel like you have other choices. You have other people that you can link up with. You don't have to be with them. You don't need them. You don't have to connect with them. They also feel like you may too be too busy as well and you have too many choices when it comes to emotionally or even physically connecting with someone else. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. How they currently feel about you. How they're currently feeling about you. Ooh, I want you. This is nice that I want you shows up immediately with the message that Spirit allowed to come through here today. And with I want you, this is really about them really wanting to connect. I'm getting some physical earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, seen in the top placements of the birth charts as well. I want you. They really want to hook up with you. They want to plan a date. They want to have a reason also to connect with you. This person's really drawn to you emotionally. Uh, this person is thinking about you. You are on their mind most of the time throughout their day. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. How they currently feel about you and you have here the knight of swords and with the knight of swords energy this is about your intellect and communication the sword energy does rule over the air zodiac signs 
Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius are significant here in the top placements of the birth chart. I feel like there's some tension in this relationship connection, some sort of highs and lows here. And with the Knight of Swords showing up here, I can definitely see that um, this is a fast-talking person. This person feels like you are changing your lifestyle right now. You're maybe connecting with new people, changing your career, changing your perspective. Yes, they feel like you're doing things to maybe even conflict with, you know, a time of connecting with them. There's some conflict in this relationship connection. Even if that conflict has to do with the time or schedule or changes, you know, even mood, you know, changes. Sometimes you are on with this person and sometimes you're off. This person feels tensed when wanting to you know, when they even, when they think about how they're going to approach you, they feel like they need to come at you with a new perspective, with something different, because you've seen it already. You've seen what they had to offer, and they feel like they need to come to you with something different. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. The law of attraction assembles happy relationships. And this is a wonderful confirmation showing up. Thank you, Spirit. And so here, the energy is the law of attraction cannot bring you a well-balanced, happy person if you are not yourself already that. And the law of attraction, no matter what you do or say, will bring to you those who predominantly match the person you predominantly are. And if you are not happy with yourself or with your life, the attraction of a partner will only exaggerate the discord because any action taken from a place of lack is always counterproductive. So yeah, this is a strong confirmation of the Knight of Swords that showed up here with how um, there's definitely some discord and there's some discord in this person's energy where you are at a place now where you're balanced. You know, your moods are balanced. You, you're doing things in moderation when it comes to this person. So this is why this energy cannot attach to you. Yes, this person can be in your mind, your thought process. This person can even be around you. But the energy cannot be grounded within you because you're in two different places here. Where this person is tensed. Where this person is coming from a perspective of lack. You are coming from a perspective of really wanting a relationship that is abundant. Really wanting a relationship that's loyal. And that's true. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. How are they feeling about you currently? Their current feelings? What are their current feelings? And you have here Queen of Sheba secrets revealed. So this is about mysteries. And we got that insight earlier with the cup energy. With that Seven of Cups energy, mysteries, water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. This person feels like you're keeping something from them. You're hiding your true feelings, as seen here in the Seven of Cups. They feel like you are hiding how you are really feeling. Maybe hiding, you know, other relationship connections, even friendships. They feel like you could be hiding friendships because you... You are wanting to protect those friendships from this person. So it's not like you're hiding. It's just like you're not as vocal anymore. You're not as, you know, um, transparent when it comes to telling your business to this person. You are keeping some things private and to yourself. And this is what they're feeling. They're wanting to know what's happening with you. What happened with the relationship. And they know what happened. And with the energy of the cup energy, this is about intuition as well. The, um, it's about the moon. It's about the mother. It's about nurturing. 
It's about you nurturing yourself. This is about you, you know, taking care of yourself, self-care, self-love, self-assurance, self-respect, and unconditional love for who you are. And so this person is not really understanding this energy that you're radiating on right now. The moon does rule over the zodiac sign of cancer as well. So let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. Ooh. So you have here. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. And this is quite confirming with the energy of the seven cups. The cup energy is about water and emotions. And this person is wanting you to know that this is how they feel about you. This is how they truly feel about you right now. How they are currently feeling. But I feel like this is something that this person may not be expressing to you in a physical way. But they are feeling this way. Thank you, spirit. But with all of the water energy, this is about your intuition. And spirit is encouraging you here to trust your intuition as it does relate to this person. You are guided by the cosmic GPS. Trust what this person has shown you by way of their actions. By how they are moving. And then how did that make you feel? Not what they are saying to you, but how they are making you feel emotionally. So this is about an emotional energy coming through. Thank you, Spirit. Beautiful number one, this does conclude your reading. And I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. And if you would like a private reading, visit my website at claritybay.com. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number two. Welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on how they're currently feeling about you. And I will share with you all the energy that comes through and not leave anything out. And please take one moment to click that like button, subscribe to the channel. That is how you can help to support. And if you would like a personal reading, visit my website at claritybay.com. Let's get straight into your reading. I see your energy. You're naturally attracted here to your card. Time out. And with the time out energy, I'm picking up air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra are in the top placements of their birth chart, your birth chart, or the birth chart of someone. I'm picking up a third party energy here for some reason, like a father figure energy, a mother figure, a parental, parental energy that is influencing um, this person's thoughts regarding the relationship connection. And what time out here, this person feels like you are um, trying to detach yourself from them. This person feels like you are feeling like it's time to move on. It's time to go in the opposite direction of them. And that's something that's quite, um, it concerns them a bit. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What are their current feelings about you? Their current feelings. And you have here the Two of Cups. And with the Two of Cups energy, this is water. Cup energy represents emotions. Hmm. Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces are in the top placements of the chart. Your chart or their chart. The sun, moon, or rising sign, seventh house of relationships, or even the planet Venus. But the Two of Cups. Yes, this person is thinking about like something to do with like a romantic love with you, a partnership, a proposal, or even a marriage. They're feeling like this should be them 
or either this should be them or this is where you're headed. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more insight. How are they currently feeling about you? How are they currently feeling? I want you. And what I want you, this is this person wanting really to be connected to you, wanting to be emotionally connected to you. But you on the other hand, you kind you kind of want to give this person your attention and energy, but at the same time, you don't want to get you involved. Because you've been there, you've done that before. So you want to take your time and really see if this person is sincere. This person wants you to know that they are sincere this time. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what are their current feelings about you? What are their current feelings? The law of attraction assembles happy relationships. This is a clear message here from spirit, the universe. Let's see what it says for you. It says, the law of attraction cannot bring you a well-balanced, happy person if you are yourself not are not already that. And the law of attraction, no matter what you do or say, will bring to you those who predominantly match the person who you predominantly are. And if you are not happy with yourself or with your life, the attraction of a partner will only exaggerate the discord because any action taken from a place of lack is always counterproductive. I love the confirmation coming out here with this person saying, I want you. They are extremely attracted to you, but they are feeling like they cannot have you. So they're coming from like this place of lack. So this is why you are not magnetized to this person. You are not connecting to them. Yes, they are a part of your experience, but you cannot connect and attract and attach yourself emotionally to this person. Because of the vibration differences here, you're not wanting to. This is not something you want, although it's something they want. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. How are they currently feeling? And you have here the High Priestess. So with the High Priestess energy, this is significant. This is about wisdom. <clears throat> this is about secrets. This person feels like you are not sharing with them the things that you used to share. They feel like you're hiding something from them. Whereas you are taking time out to reflect. You're on a spiritual path of spiritual illumination here. You are literally in hermit mode where you're going within for clarity. You're on a quest for for personal truth and growth. Whereas they feel like you're hiding secrets. You're maybe hiding relationship connections, even friendships, platonic relationships. They're wondering, do you have a romantic partner that you're interested in? And I love the correlation between the high priestess and the two of cups. Whether well, this person is thinking about you having a romantic proposal, a marriage. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more insight. What are their current feelings about you? Their current feelings, and you have here soul forgiveness. And with soul forgiveness, and this is a clear indication for you to send this person lots of love and white sparkly light. This person is wondering, are you going to forgive them? Something they did, you know, 
something that caused an upheaval and this relationship connection made you side-eye this person, made you question whether or not they are truly loyal. So this person feels like you see them in a different way. They want you to see them with a new perspective. They want you to see them as being better, as someone that has grown. Thank you, Spirit. And let's get more insight. Hmm. And you have, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. And know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. I love this for you. You know why? Because it's a nice confirmation laying right here under the two of cups. That love is coming your way. Be thanks. Give thanks for the love that is coming your way. Thank you, spirit. There's a clear message that yes, you're on a vibrational frequency of romantic love, partnership, proposals, and marriage. So this is a clear message here about manifestation for you from spirit that whatever you want in way of a relationship in love, feel yourself as to already having it. You want someone to adore you, adore yourself. You want someone to date you and treat you with the utmost respect and care, care and love yourself. And I see you're on this journey of balance. That's why you chose the card here, time out. Because this is a time for you about balance, moderation, harmony flowing through your spirit. And this person knows this. And because you are not giving them your attention and you know, pretty much turning towards what you want, in essence, ignoring this person, it makes them want you more. Your beautiful number two just does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments and they definitely warm my heart and they make my day. Click like and subscribe to the channel. That is how you can help to support. If you would like a personal reading, visit my website at claritybay.com. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number three. Welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you a clear insight about how they're feeling currently about you. And I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please click that like button, subscribe to the channel. That is how you can help to support. And if you would like a personal reading, visit my website at claritybay.com. Let's get straight into your reading. I see your energy, it naturally draws you here to moderation. And with the moderation energy, this is about balance, harmony, patience, and self-control. And these are the characteristics that this person sees within you because this is what you are practicing right now. Thank you, Spirit. Your energy is not so invested in this person as it was previously. And so here, they are wondering and thinking quite hard about what you're doing, where you're going, who are you with? Are you dating someone? Are you going out to dinner? Are you going to the theater? What are you doing? You're not giving your full focus and attention to this person. They're also wondering, are you communicating with someone online as well? Because see, you have pulled back your energy and that is making them question their own value to you. How you feel about them is what they're questioning. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. 
And how are they currently feeling about you? How are they currently feeling about you? And you have here the Seven of Wands with the Wand energy. This is Fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries are in the top placements of the birth chart. And the Sun, Moon, or Rising Sign, Seventh House of Relationships, or even the planet Venus. And your birth chart or their birth chart as a confirmation here in the reading. And with the Seven of Wands show, showing up, this is about you having your defenses up protecting your energy so i love the seven of wands showing up as a confirmation here with moderation thank you spirit i love this for you thank you spirit let's get more insight and how are they currently feeling about you how are they currently feeling i love you this person loves you this person loves the fact that you are who you are, you know, because you're a person very loyal, dedicated, grounded, and reliable. And there's some that's what this person loves about you. I'm also picking up some earth energy here. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo are in the top placements of the birth chart. This person may not have shown you this, which is why. You have your defenses up, protecting yourself from their energy because they will say this to you, but you question their actions and you question their moves. Spirit is encouraging you here to trust your intuition plus their actions because whatever they show you physically is who they are at that moment. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. How are they currently feeling about you? How are they currently feeling about you? You have here the Eight of Cups. I love the Eight of Cups showing up because this is about water and emotion. And that message just came through. They feel like you changed up on them. And they feel like you changed up on them really fast. They call it a fast change. <laughs> but this was something that was taking place over time. Thank you, Spirit. Cup energy again, Scorpio. Cancer and Pisces, cup energy. Cancer, the emotions. This person is in their feelings over you as well. Let's get more inside. And how are they currently feeling about you? How are they currently feeling? The essence of my every desire can be fulfilled. And let's get the message. If your time space reality has the wherewithal to inspire a desire within you, it is in our absolute promise to you that your time space reality has the ability to deliver in full manifest manifested form. And the reality of the desire it has inspired. You see, the essence of any and all desires can be fulfilled unless you are holding yourself out of alignment with your own desire. And you see the feeling of competition or shortage or limitation or re of resources means you are out of alignment with what you desire. Ooh, defenses, seven of wands. <laughs> You're protecting your energy. This person has a way of having their defenses up as well, which is why there has been discord in this relationship connection because with their defenses being up and you protecting your energy, that is the reason there is this feeling of separation between you two. So although they have this love for you because they are in this feeling of like having their defenses up, not being totally transparent with their love for fear of their ego or just for fear of like what society says, how this person should behave, then it's causing the separation between you two. 
This person is afraid of being like vulnerable, intimate, and that is not what you are desiring. You are desiring love and understanding, intimacy, loyal, appreciation. And this person knows this about you, but they are not feeling it. So they are not allowing it to take place. Let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. What are their current feelings about you? Their current feelings. And you have here truth. And with the truth, this is evident that they recognize the fact that you know who they are. You know their personalities, characteristic traits. You know how they withdraw. You know how this person will not wear their hearts on their sleeve. You know who they are. And see, you are one that really likes to resonate the truth. And the truth is love. The truth is care. It's compassion. It's abundant energy expression. So you're here. You're like, hey, if you're not radiating that, you cannot come into my heart space. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And how are they feeling? Their current feelings about you. What are their current feelings? Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. And when we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. And go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Woo! I love this for you. Because... There's a lot of resistance here in this person's feelings and energy, but it's a clear message for you to not allow yourself to feel that resistance. Yes, it's okay to protect your energy, protect your peace, and keep healthy and persistent boundaries in place, but do not resist love. Allow love to flow to you. You know what it is. You know what it feels like. You know what it looks like. So allow it to come to you. Yes, there will be some sort of like um, challenges where you may meet certain people that don't offer love. But because you know what love is, you will not allow that to stick to you. So that doesn't mean that you are not radiating love because someone comes in your energy space and they show you that they are not in alignment with love. You just see them through the eyes of source, see them through the eyes of love. And that those relationships that are meant to be with you and be a part of your life, whether they are romantic or platonic, will be there. This is a clear message for you. This person is feeling resistance. Incapable of, you know, really expressing themselves. But based, basically due to their egos or fears, yes, this person knows how to love. Yes, they have love inside of them, but this is something that they have to work on and fully express that part of their being. Beautiful number three, this does conclude your reading. And I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. Also click that like button and subscribe to the channel that is how you can help to support. If you would like a personal reading, visit my website at claritybay.com. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.